Hillary. Holy smokes, Drew. You trying to give an old man a heart attack? Sorry. <laughs> um, I just had a question. We've been getting a lot of emails about our thrust ratio. But I thought you'd be the perfect guy to answer those questions. Sure. We make a lot of different guns in different ratios, and it's done to handle different products. So you have an ETS 2000, it's a 12 to 1 gun for your lighter products. An ETS 3000, 18 to 1, handles your thicker products like floor adhesives, wall adhesives, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then an ETS 9000 is for your really heavy materials, two-part epoxies, really stiff adhesives. The heavy hitter. Heavy hitter. <laughs> Got it, okay. So what would you say is your average junk bin cocking gun at a store? Uh, most of those are gonna be around six to one. So they move a lot of product per squeeze, but it takes a lot of force and you don't get good control. Where's your hand out? Got it. So how would you figure out the thrust ratio? Well, first, if we measure the distance of the trigger travel mm -hmm. and divide that by the distance the plate moves. In English? Okay, if I move this 18 millimeters, okay. this would move one millimeter if it's an 18 to one gun. Okay. Okay? So if you want to test one in a store to see what the ratio is, take this and squeeze the trigger and count how many pulls it takes to get the pusher plate from one end to the other. Thirty-six. Divide by two. Eighteen. You're pretty good at this math stuff. 18 to 1. 18 to 1 ratio gun. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's a real way to check guns in the store if you don't know what they are. Okay, so would you say that the higher the ratio, the easier it is to push out heavy product? Exactly. So your ah. two-part epoxies, your really heavy stuff, use a high ratio gun. Like our DC 600. For your dual component, that's the perfect gun. Nice high ratio, works on that dual component stuff to get it out. Got it. Thanks, Larry. Okay, Drew. Back to work. Okay. See ya.